Well, making uh, uh, new cars with headlights, taking the cars off of the train display and uh, putting headlights in for a uh, nighttime, uh, I took a couple of our, my old school buses off. I have a couple of the hub, little Hubley school buses from back early 1960, uh, 61. I didn't want to take those and cut, you know, drill, drill them out. So, uh, uh, and I also have some old, uh, some other old school buses that weren't n nearly as nice as uh, some of the newer school buses. So, I went, but I went over to the hobby shop, you know, our hobby shop, and. We sell this little school bus, and it's a, a great, it's a nice little school bus, and it's it, it actually works pretty well for uh, 143rd or for you know for Oge's layouts. But anyway, what I did was I took it apart, and I thought, okay, I'm going to put headlights into this school bus for nighttime. Well, that was cool, but you know what? That ended up not being exactly what I was going to end up doing. I had a feeling. Uh, so while I had it apart. I uh, actually put a couple of kids in a couple of seats. I, I took a woman, cut her legs off so she would fit underneath the steering wheel because around here we have a lot of women school bus drivers. So I thought, you know, what would really be neat is if I drilled out the caution lights and the stop lights at the front and in the back here at the very top of the school bus and I could have those flashing the way a school bus does. So. Never, never thinking that uh, I never really looked at how a school bus flasher works. I never paid that much attention to it. So I, on the way to work, I happened to notice that what happens is when a school bus is coming to the stop, the yellow lights start to flash that are in the center, in, in, inside. When the school bus stops and the door opens, the yellows change to red flashing lights. And there's now a bar, <coughs> a bar that comes out and swings out so that kids don't walk in front of that school bus. The whole idea is to protect the children from getting hit by a car. Um, so while I had this whole thing apart, I thought, okay, I'm, I drilled these out. I drilled the front two lights out, the red and the yellow, the red and the yellow and the black, in the back. And I uh, added red light, red LEDs here, the yellow LEDs inside. Uh, ran that all down through here. I had to glue uh, everything. I actually had to take the ba the back door on this school bus actually opened and closed, but I didn't necessarily want it to open closed. So I I took the open and closed part, the little mechanism off, and and glued that back door in permanently. So um, this thing it's got headlights and it's got the flashing lights for the top. Um, now what I want to do is I want to take that one step further again and have it so that when the school bus is sitting here, there's nothing going on. Then <coughs> all of a sudden the yellow lights will start to flash, then the red lights will flash, and then when the red lights start to flash, I'm going to have that little bar come across just like the real school buses do. It'll wait for a little while. The bar is going to come back. When the bar gets back, the red lights will go out, and it'll be like the school bus is now full. The kids are able to go, and uh, you know we can keep on going. Um, now it'll probably work during nighttime and daytime, so but uh, I don't think anybody's really going to notice because I'm going to have the headlights that are going to work also at nighttime. I'm going to use one of these little flasher units that we actually sell. It's a kit that you can. Um, uh, you put it get you know every, everything needs to just be soldered together. Everything is already here in the kit. It's a very simple kit to build. It has two potentiometers, one for each flash LED. So you can make it flash fast, flash slow, flash equally, flash equally slow, equally fast. That's it's a great little multi-purpose flasher unit. And I think what I'm also going to do is I'm going to use one of these uh, tortoise slow motion switch machines by Circuitron to make my little bar come out. Now the bar will not be really attached to the school bus. I don't need to do that. All that mechanism will be underneath the display. There'll be a, a little rod that sticks up. And what will happen is this will then just sit down over top of that bar when it's on the train display. And you know they won't be connected, but it will be right there. So we're gonna I'm gonna walk you through the whole process of start to finish on how to make the bar come out and how to make 
the unit here to make the light splash. Now, after that's all done, I'm going to have to make the actual uh, part to do all this. Now, I could do it electro I can't do it electronically, I should say, because I don't have the knowledge of uh, chips and uh, and discrete uh, you know, appliances and th things like that, that to do it using today's te technology. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it the old school way. I'm going to use a drum. I'm going to use a little drum. Actually, it'll be two pieces of uh, of uh, plexiglass using a less than one RPM motor, and as that turns, it will flip the little re uh, micro switches, just like my fire drum, just like my nighttime drum, uh, to make these things work. That's a proven way. I know how to make it. I know how to use it. I know how to design it. I don't know how to do it the other way. So this is the way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to get working on this and uh, I'll show you how I'll do it.